My name is Andrew Van Dam. I'm from Perth in Western Australia and I have been working on a tape feeder for pick and place machines and the Open PMP project and that is my entry for the Hackaday Prize. This is a tape reel. It has about 4,000 resistors in there and it's used by all manufacturers around the world for boards. Uh, if you don't know what a pick and place machine is and how they use this tape, I'll put some videos down the bottom that you can watch and pretty quickly and easy to understand. Um, this particular reel thing's getting really cheap. This one here is just 10K0603 resistors, and this was about $2 for 4,000 of them. Um, I picked it up at the Hacker Camp in Shenzhen, which I would highly recommend. That was awesome fun. So, an automatic feeder has its own motor to index the tape, pull back the plastic cover and keep working while the, the placement heads off placing components doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, there's a few challenges, uh, namely the tapes of different sizes. So this is a, a large component, these are some, some socket headers. Uh, you can see much wider and there's also the challenge of different thickness. So this is a, a paper tape, a cardboard, and this is a plastic and you can see there's thickness challenges there as well. Also, you need the fitters to be as narrow as possible so you can really get the density in there. Uh, obviously, the better your density, the faster you can pick them and move the machine. Um, also, they need to be removable. So feeders, if they can't be removed, to change the parts over. Uh, it takes a good few minutes to sort of get in there, thread the reels, pull it back, check everything's working, remove any jams from chips that have fallen out. So the feeders have got to be removable, like on commercial machines. Um, the parts have also got to be able to be sourced reliably. Those are the big challenges, and that's what I'll be keeping posted on Hackaday.io.